Centennial linebacker Jack Coleman has faced his fair share of tough opponents, but none compared to the one he met on July 27, 2017. That's, that's the day we found out there was obviously something very wrong. Uh, that was probably the most emotional moment. Just two days before he was set to report to training camp, the 17-year-old's fear became reality. A diagnosis of lymphoma, taking him away from the game he loved. It hit me, but it didn't hit me. I wasn't sad that I had cancer. I was just sad because I couldn't play football my senior year. Like, I, I shed a couple tears and I was just only for football. I was shocked. I was really, really shocked because it's like, for it to happen like that and then so quick. It was like anger mixed with sadness at the same time. And in a moment, he went from preparing for his last year of high school football to preparing for the fight of his life. The first heartbreak is when you hear as a mother. And then the second heartbreak is that your child has to be told they have something that could take their life. Take everything you've worked for and then say, no, you can't have that. And then with all the chemo and stuff, that basically took away all my, all my strength all the muscle and speed, pretty much all my, all my everything for football. I was like really sad and depressed, but then that only lasted like a day. I was just like, okay, whatever, you got over it now, beat this thing. A warrior mentality inspired by his dad, who beat cancer of his own years ago. You know what, my dad taught me how to be strong through this, so I wasn't worried about it at all. Strength he carried from day one of his fight. I remember when I was first in the hospital, my dad, I have never seen him cry before. He shed one tear and um, I was just like, Dad, what are you doing? I'm gonna beat this thing. And I was crying and then he said, Mom, we're not crying, we're gonna beat this. He said, God's got a plan for me, whether this takes me or not, it's God's plan and it's been his plan since the beginning. That was my strength, I drew a lot of strength from that. So Jack began to tackle cancer just as he would on the field, head on with no hesitation. I treat it like I treat other players on the field. I got that mentality, like you're not gonna beat me. Like really, you're gonna come into my body and try to kill me? No, I'm gonna kill you instead, you know? <laughs> and along the way, an entire community was left inspired. He's taken that attitude and he just, you know, I'm gonna kick cancer's butt and it's been great. I think he's, all of us, you know, especially in the beginning when he was in the hospital for uh, an enormous amount of time, and we'd go up and visit him and how happy he was to see us and how excited he was and how he was ready to fight. And that, that's been so uplifting to all of us. And it shows that, you know, what an attitude can do for it. He's just doing a great job with it. We kind of have a different mindset or goal now from the season for the entire season. Because, yeah, I mean, we want to win a ring, but we want to win the ring for Jack. That's what pushes not even just me, just the entire team forward. Talk to me about the support of your football team. Oh my God, it's, it's insane. You have an entire team, a great team like Centennial, saying, hey, we're doing this for you. Like, that's probably the most impact for me. Even my coach had these bracelets made. It says Jack, and then it says Husky Strong on there with the two ribbons. It, like, it makes me the happiest person on earth. They chant Jack's name or Jack Strong or whatever. And um, so he really feels like he's a part of this, even though he can't physically be here all the time. There's one of our brothers that can't be out here with us and doing what he would, would love to do and that we all you know, went through and excited to be part of that was taken away from at the last minute. So, you know, we, we have that little chip that, you know, Jack's there with us and, and uh, when he's at our games, when he's healthy enough, he's a team captain and he talks to the team and it's great. And if he can't be there, we know he's uh, there in spirit. Now, as Jack approaches his last round of chemotherapy, he reflects on his journey battling cancer. I am proud that I could, like, inspire others you know help them get through what they're doing just knowing that i or my mindset hopefully they could have the same thing you know what could be a horrible experience to be have so much positive in it that the bad is minimized and the the good is glorified and we have faith that there's um, a purpose and we have faith that um, as bad as things are god will show you good in it and he has cherishing life in a new way and hoping to inspire others with the story of Jack Strong. I want everybody to know that even though you could get cancer and chemotherapy and you have every single thing that you work for taking away from you, you could get that back. How do you think you will approach life differently now that you've been through this? A lot more appreciative for the little stuff and even the big stuff. Don't give up. Just keep on pushing through no matter what you're doing. That's Jack Strong.